thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today is reading in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 27. In this chapter, we see David fearful of Saul, and he runs to the Philistines to hang out and stay with these people that the Israelites were told to stay away from. And in this chapter, we see that David had two wives. And it goes against God's word where we're told in the beginning of time that man is to be with one woman, cling to one wife. But what I wanted to speak about today was how when we hang out with the Philistines in our own lives, sin permeates, it continues to grow. Song of Solomon chapter 2 verse 15 tells us that one fox can destroy a vineyard. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 1 says that one dead fly can destroy a bottle of perfume. We're told in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 6 that a little leaven leavens a whole lump. You see, sin permeates. David, we find him with more than one wife, hanging out with people he shouldn't be with, and fearful of man. When we are fearful in life, we're told that in Psalm 57 verse 1, we are to find our refuge in the Lord and hide under the shadow of his wings until the calamities of life pass us by. But I could tell you from my own life, I've been guilty, just like David, of many times hanging out with the Philistines in my own life. People and places and things I shouldn't have been with. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33 tells us that bad company corrupts good morals. How often we've gotten into relationships we shouldn't have been in. Instead of trusting in the Lord, we tried to find our trust in a person. Daniel in the Old Testament, in Daniel chapter 1, verse 8, we are told that he would not enjoy the things of this life that what the king and that culture had. He separated himself from that culture. In Hebrews chapter 11, verses 24 to 26, we are told that Moses, instead of enjoying the privileges and the pleasures of Egypt, he suffered reproach with the people of God. These men knew what it meant to be holy, to be set apart for the Lord, service to God. Holiness is so important in our lives, as Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14 tells us. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 15 to 16 tells us, Be holy, just as I am holy. Verse 14 of 1 Peter tells us that just before this, we are to escape or run away from the lust of this world. We are to run from this world and run to God. That's what it means to be holy, set apart. That doesn't mean we live in a little cave. That doesn't mean we run away from life. We face life, but we find our joy, our contentment in the Lord and not with the things of this world. My friends, how often times we, like David, run from God, try to find our strength and the Philistines of our own lives. But I hope today's devotional video will encourage us all to remain holy. Finally, I would like to say this, that we can't do nothing apart from Jesus Christ. Jesus gave us seven great I am sayings in the book of John, in the gospel of John. I am the bread of life. I am the door for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. The seventh one he gave in John chapter 15, verses one to five, he says, I am the vine. You are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. We need to be reminded that, yes, we are to live a holy, separate life, but we can't do it unless we're relying, depending on Jesus Christ. We can't do it in our own strength. Actually, there are eight I am sayings. Many times people make this mistake. They say the seven great I am sayings, but there are actually eight. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 8, verse 58, before Abraham was, I am. But the bottom line is, is that means that Christ is self-sufficient in himself. But our sufficiency, our strength should come from him. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, the Apostle Paul said that he was crucified with Christ. He didn't live for himself no more, but he lived for Christ. Jesus himself told us in the Gospel of John chapter 15 verses 18 to 20, that the world hated him and it's going to hate us also. We are not to find ourselves comfortable in this world. Too often times, Christians are too earthly minded to be of any heavenly good. I've been guilty of it myself. My friends say, let us learn to draw on the Lord, find our strength in him, find our life in him, learning to be holy, set apart for service to him. We could learn from the people of the past. 
David, yes, he ran from God. He ran to the Philistines, fearing man, having more than one wife. But yet we're told in 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 14, that through it all, he was a man after God's own heart. Repentance is very important. David, Psalm, David penned Psalm 32 and Psalm 51 after his rendezvous with Bathsheba. And it has to do with repentance, brokenness over sin. God loves to use broken vessels. He likes, God loves to use weak people, dependent on him, humble people. Remember what Christ said in Matthew chapter 9, verses 12 and 13. He came to call the sinners to repentance, not the self-righteous, because it is the sick who need a doctor, not the healthy. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today, Lord. I pray that myself, all of us, would learn to truly depend on you, to live for you, Lord God. As it's early in the morning here and the sun is just breaking out, Lord, we're reminded of what you, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, did early in the morning in Mark chapter 1, verse 35. You went out into a mountain when it was still dark out to pray to the Father. Lord, I pray that many will start their day with you. They start their day with the spiritual food of your word, and prayer, and communion with you. Help us to be separate from this world, Lord God, a world that's getting more and more darker. In Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior's name, I pray. God bless you all today, my brothers and, brothers and sisters. Stay in the word of God. Pray throughout this day. Stay in communion with good, godly people and be separate from this world.